Hi, my name is Vishal. In this video, I'll just uh, discuss about the text in the Cinema 4D. So we have the basic uh, interface here. I'm going to create a polygon primitive called text. So this is the text what we have got here. So we go to the attribute manager and start exploring this uh, text um, here. So I just went into the object section and then and I've typed something here and then uh, picked a different uh, um, attribute and immediately that update has been shown here. So if you see here uh, we have uh, I'll just go to the display and then Gorod shading uh, in lines. I'll pick that so that you could see the subdivisions uh, in this mod model. Uh, so if you see the subdivisions, uh, we are able to divide that geometry and we can also extrude it uh, uh, as much as we want here in the model. Uh, we have uh, different things about the text uh, related control here. If you are going in a big a paragraph, then you can choose uh, left, middle and right alignment. And then you have uh, the fonts here, which you can basically pick. And uh, you can pick what type of font you are. I mean, the type of the font itself. You can choose that too. So you can pick between bold, bold italic and all that here. And um, we have uh, this option called uh, caps. We can avoid uh, setting up the caps where only the shell of the text will be enabled there. Um, you have uh, the bevel uh, controls. So you have separate bevel controls here. Already there is one bevel defaultly. And if you just come closer to the text here and uh, we have the uh, size of the bevel which I can give one centimeter or five centimeters and you can see that bevel has been achieved. Um, so you want an extended shape or not you can generally choose. Uh, you also have this load preset where you can pick uh, from any of this uh, types of the text here okay and um, you have separate bevel controls where you can generally uh, add uh, additional bevel controls which are happening on the other side so even you are adding uh, additional layer of the bevel on the bevel outside and uh, we have this uh, cap which is an n gone which means a polygon with more than four sides but you can convert them into triangles uh, quadrangles we have uh, Delaney, Delaney, sorry, and you got regular grid. So you can pick uh, any of this uh, caps uh, subdivisions here. Uh, we have this uh, option here called uh, selection. Um, if I if I just enable, you are generally telling that. Um, it's something like uh, quick selection sets so if you enable that um, a, a selection set has been created and uh, uh, this part of the geometry is uh, the shell and if you see start cap you have end cap which is this side is a start cap this side is the end cap and then you have a start bevel and end bevel so when you enable that, uh, you have, you know, uh, told uh, the Cinema 4D to identify different groups of polygons. Uh, what you can basically do with that is, uh, for example, I'll just go here and then create uh, uh, three sets of polygons. 
uh, not three but five sets of uh, shaders so I go to the shader and then give it a color then I create another material here give it a color give it a color okay L let's see first okay so what I do is I will just uh, drag this and drop onto the text here and that shader will be assigned and um, now I drag it's it's on the top sorry now you see it it came here anything on the top uh, or something which is uh, first here will be the base material and uh, what's next comes is uh, a top material on it now if I just uh, type S here then what you see is this orange color will be there only on the uh, shell uh, if you can select that here we have S now if we press C1 then that would be start cap which is this so I'll drop the yellow shader on the text and then come here and type C1 now you should see the material on the uh, cap so you got the text here in the cinema 4D uh, very similarly you got C2 and uh, what's that uh, R1 R2 which is for the bevel C1 and C2 for the caps so you can assign different materials here very similarly uh, generally you need five shaders to assign that that's why I've given the base material so that it will take up that material as the base which is the blue color material you need to assign then it will take another material there as per the requirement so we have uh, uh, the other tabs where we can add uh, effectors and control things here um, we have uh, the caps we got the object alignment we got the coordinates where you can move the text uh, and uh, possibly you can also uh, do the keyframe animation of that and uh, if you could see here we have this option called uh, uh, show 3d GUI uh, which is global user interface I can select that handles and then interactively uh, control the text here or um, edit the text sorry it, it, it just moves on the side like that so you can control the text uh, any way you want here and uh, we got uh, all the options to control in this um, mainly this is uh, the very sp uh, text specific area where you can control and we have uh, this one also which is a very text specific area and um, the other things are common which can you can see in the other objects too uh, 